All right, so the CDC, excuse me, made things more official on Friday. Now it's being talked about more because it went into effect uh, at midnight last night. So they issued this lengthy report and statement basically saying that they believe masks help and people need to wear them on public transportation. Again, it went into effect last night. You can see part of their statement here, which I'll read till further notice under 42 USC 264A, blah, 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 and 42 CFR, all this code stuff. Unless excluded or exempted as set forth in this order, a person must wear a mask while boarding, disembarking, I, lo- I just love, the- I love that word, and traveling on any conveyance into or within the United States. A person must also wear a mask at any transportation hub that provides transportation within the United States. So this rule goes for, as, as some people have pointed out, goes further than the, the executive order that Joe Biden signed last week requiring masks on federal property, which of course he broke within hours of signing himself. Two-year-olds and people with conditions still can be exempt from this whole thing. There was a discussion, and there was actually some pretty heated discussion in some channels that I saw about this being something that was not just a mandate, but something that also would come with criminal charges if you broke the rule. But CDC is saying, at least for now, that it, quote, reserves the right to enforce the order through criminal penalties. But for now, it's going to rely on basically the honor system practiced by passengers and, and or the, the transport, you know, whether it's the bus or the airline, what have you. Airlines, and, and traveling just sucks right now. It's bad enough, like particularly flying when you're on a metal tube at 30,000 plus feet and it's tight space. And then you, you factor in, you got to put on a mask. It's just not fun. But, but the airlines had asked that the FAA actually step in and enforce this and make it do this or else. Because you've seen the videos. We've shown videos on here. People, people are making it absolutely insane. We've got pilots threatening people. We've got flight attendants who, for once, their balls have dropped, and, and they're threatening people and trying to act tough. But they asked the FAA to step in. They said, no, we're not going to do it. We're not a public health agency. That's up to you guys and, and everyone else. But here's, here's my thing. And part, part of the title in this and part of a theme that we're going to come back to on a different topic here shortly is I think that this is all a slippery slope. So many things that we're, we talk about on a daily basis really are. But in terms of the enforcement angle, that right now they're saying they're not going to. It's an honor system. But they're saying that they can enforce it. And believe you me, they will at some point. You know it's coming. I hope it's not. But you can kind of see the writing on the wall. So much of what they do and how they do things is telegraphed and clear. And, and part of the reason you can see it coming is because obviously the government, as we know, and particularly this Democrat party that, that we're seeing and experiencing right now, they love control. They love power. But also, because people will do stupid things. They will be defiant. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be defiant in certain situations, but I'm just saying, as a matter of fact here, people will cause a scene and give them the excuse to crack down harder. Well, people started getting out of hand, so now we've got to enforce it. Now there's going to be charges that that get lobbed at these offenders for not wearing their masks. So that's one thing. I think it's a slippery slope. I think it's dangerous. And I think that it's going to get to that point if we're not careful. And or even if we are, it's going to get to that point. But the second thing is, is this is literally exactly what we've been doing. You know, Biden issued his mask mandate on federal property. I'm sure there's maybe a few exceptions, but name a federal property organization that didn't have a mask policy in place whether because they really believed in it because they felt like it was the right thing to do or they're just going along with it. It doesn't matter. Most places had that. Most businesses have that. We've been wearing masks at all these places. Then the CDC comes out with this. We're making it official. You have to wear this on airport, on airplanes, in airports, at bus stations, on buses, on trains, on, at train stations. All of that. But again, we've been doing that. This is not some new, new, new policy or idea. They're spinning it that way. They're treating it that way. 
So I have to ask, like, is the other side this dumb? Like, they are, as of now, this is a rule. This is a mandate. You're going to do this. You mean like we've been doing the whole time, pretty much this entire last year? That thing? Is the other side this dumb? I just don't, like, do they not pay attention to what's been going on? I mean, they, it, it, it blows my mind that Biden can come in, and particularly when it comes to this COVID stuff. Yeah, he's signing a bunch of executive orders, more than any president in the history of mankind, damn near. C certainly in the first week, he, he did sign more. But when it comes to this COVID response and their plan, which they're falling flat on their face on, by the way. There's, did you see the, the report of all the, the vaccines that are missing, by the way? Look into that. That's kind of funny. It's not, and it is all at the same time. But everything they talk about when it comes to this vaccine is literally what we've been doing, what President Trump put in place. But you can tell they get away with this narrative, and we're going to do this now, even though we've been doing it. We're going to do this now, even though we've been doing it, because their people have been fed, their, their listeners, their viewers have been fed such crap before about President Trump and that administration, about other organizations who took a, took a different approach or have different political values than them. And now they can come out and say this, and everyone's like, oh, it's an amazing idea. That's a true leader. No, nope. literally, they're just doing the exact same thing. But the slippery slope part is the part to watch for. Does this become criminal? Whether it's misdemeanor, felon, whatever, felony, whatever, like, where do they go with this? And how far do they go with this? We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be an interesting year. I'm dying to know, and I can't predict. If I, if I knew, I'd tell you. And I probably would have a different job, but I, I'm dying to know how far and how long this lasts into this year. Does it extend beyond this year? What are the repercussions? What's, what's all the stuff that comes with this? Dying to know. America's under attack, and they're all around us. I'm talking about liberal Democrats, and they're out to destroy everything that we've worked so hard for. Mammoth Nation's here to fight for you. You only get one vote, so let's join forces. We support conservative lawmakers and the causes you hold so dearly. We stand behind our police, veterans, the Second Amendment, and much more. We need your help, so join today.